Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, I'm on the test server. I'm looking at the new referral program. And damn, it's actually looking pretty solid. Look at this. We've got lots of changes coming to Raid basically this week in this patch. So what they've done here is they've they've changed the level 10 bonus to, to now give basically an epic champion. Instead of 200 energy three times, you get fragments towards this epic champion. To get to level 10 on referral accounts is super quick. Yeah, I did it on my own free-to-play accounts. I will link the video where I do that. It's actually at the end of the video for the fusion kind of prep guide. I'll link it at the end of this video so you can see how to do it. Uh, it's very easy to do. So you can do your own referral account through Bluestacks. Download Bluestacks. Follow my, my advice in this other video because it is quite specific in terms of how you need to do it. But I will put the link to Bluestacks down below in a pinned comment. I get like a dollar if you download through my link. Even if you just do it either way, it doesn't matter. But it's really easy to do. If you've already got these filled in through other referrals that you've done, you will straight up just get this epic when it goes live. I, th I think it's going live on Thursday. So you'll straight up have a new epic. I'll go through the champions in a minute. So yeah, the first three links are as they were apart from with the new epic, which is pretty cool. When you get to level 50, you get your extra sacred shard. But then after three of your friends hit level 50, it unlocks a second referral. So basically you can then get three more friends in the mix and then you've got a chance of getting a legendary champion, which we'll have a look at again in a minute. Plus you get other juicy rewards. So you basically get another chance at three more sacreds plus an avatar and you know, more epic books, more void shards and stuff. It's pretty significant. The change is significant. Once your friends get past level 50, and carry on leveling up and you get a chance at these rewards at the top so i mean this is an avatar this is a skin to that uh new epic some chaos or some five star chickens and some legendary tomes so you kind of want actual people ideally actual people that are going to play the game to hit these referrals because firstly it takes quite a while it takes like a month of playing pretty actively to get your own referrals up to level 50 but it's doable you know a month of just pretty much logging in and auto clicking through blue stacks it's not that difficult to do it and after that you then need to set up three more and get yourself legendaries as well i mean basically within two months of pretty pretty easy work you would have yourself what seven sacreds a legendary an epic six voids a load of epic tomes it's it's significant yeah, and if you can actually get real people to do it, it's even better because then they start tipping in and earning you uh, more rewards as well. It's way better than it was, like way better. It's more of a referral program that makes some sense for people to get behind. Um, but let's have a look at these couple of champions. Just while I'm on the test server and showing you stuff, if you're someone who's kind of thought about coming back, not played the game in a while, after 21 days, you actually get this kind of recall quests. And you can come back in and like start to play the game in a different or basically get some more rewards of coming back it's like a please come back we want you to do stuff you also get these boosts so you can do stuff like uh give you more silver coming out of your fights reduce the cost of removing silver so if you've not played the game for a couple of months you come back you actually get to open up some of these different boosts which are pretty cool actually it's a good way to get people back into the game i think so let's have a look at these couple of champions then they're both barbarians, which for me is a bit of a letdown. Because you already get 30 day login champion Hikatoon, who's a good champ. You already get Scylla the Drakes, you know, after a while. What's that, 180 days or so? To put both of these champions in that same faction, you know, this is the faction we can already beat pretty well with faction wars and stuff. But I guess it is what it is. So, wow, what are they going on with this name? Deja Massa, I'm going for, but probably totally wrong. So we got herself a barbarian. I mean, some describe her as chilly on a cold night. Yeah. She could not afford much fabric um, and ended up with this little outfit. Skimpy is the way I would describe it. She can't see. Maybe that's why she couldn't see. She thought she was well covered up. Turns out. She wasn't. Anyway, <laughs> this one's a bit much. This is a bit much, Plarium. 
This is a bit much. What's going on though for our blind goddess here? She got high heels on. Oh, don't worry. She got high heels on. That's good. But I guess let's just check out our other skin here. This is one that you can get from those those kind of same reward uh, areas on the referrals. Okay. Okay. I actually think I prefer the original skin for this one. But both pretty cool. Get skin. What's it say? Go and get your referrals done, you fool. So what we got? Good base HP. Good base speed. Good base defense. This is a strong set of stats for a support champion. Or really, a very early freebie. Very early freebie champion here. Uh, we've got an A1. 30% does book up to 50% chance of placing a sleep. If the legendary is on the same team that we're going to look at in a minute. So she's got synergy with this legendary. Uh, and the sleep was resisted or blocked. So block debuffs would do that. Places a 30% decrease speed instead. And it cannot be blocked. That's kind of interesting. I'd like to see it in action. Just to play around with it and, and fully understand how it works. But I guess if there's block debuffs out there. She can't place the sleep. Then it'll just throw a decrease speed out there. Even though they've got block debuffs on. Or even though they've got something like stone skin on. That's actually quite big. If that's the way it works. Then that's pretty big. We've got the A2 then. Heals somebody for 30% of their max HP. And gives them a turn meter fill. 30%. Free turn cooldown. If this skill is used with this dude as well. Instantly activates uh, their Berserker Delight. We'll see what that's like in a minute. So feels like you kind of want her playing around with Cronum here. Uh, to get the most use out of her. But it's an okay heal. And a bit of a turn meter fill for one person. It's, it's kind of like an okay ability on its own. The A3 then is Revive All Allies. Wow, that's actually massive for a free epic. Revives all allies with 30% HP and turn meter. Damn, that's decent. That's a really good support based ability right there. Five turn cooldown. It's a bit long, but that's, a, that's big. That is massive for faction wars, massive for early game progression. And then we've got a passive here. Whenever an ally uses a skill, an active skill, 20% chance of decreasing the cooldown of that skill by a turn. Oh my lord, this passive is massive. Hooks down to zero turn cooldown. Every time someone on your team uses an ability, 20% chance of giving them a decreased cooldown of that skill. That is like having inbuilt a reflex gear on your whole team. Like That's a, a humongous ability for Hydra right there. It's a bit RNG, but still, that is a crazy passive. I love that passive. Love it. Defense in all battles as well. Wow, that's actually a, a, it's a great champion to put as an early pickup. Really good decision. like Really good uh, skill set. Not breaking the game. Not going to be the best epic in the game. But when you're looking to just trying to progress early on, I think this is a great epic. Wow. Okay. Let's have a look then at Cronum. The legendary champion. Honestly, seen better days. He's looking a bit disheveled. Double sword, wielder. Got a dagger as well. It's okay. It looks a bit grumpy on the morning. But let's just see if his other skin looks a little bit more, I don't know, smiley. What we got here for the Midgard skin, legendary skin here. Damn, actually, I much prefer the legendary skin. The flaming kind of hand guards here, hand grips. He's, he's kind of hidden up his miserable face. Yeah, the legendary skin actually looks a lot better. What we got here, massive base attack, good speed. Okay HP and defense, a bit squishy, honestly. Got a double hitter A1. This is a Jin Swords. Each hit books up to 50% chance of increasing the duration of a debuff. It's actually not bad. Uh, if, she, if he's got the epic on the same team, also, each hit also increases the duration of any burn by a turn. So random debuff and a burn if she's out there. Berserker's Delights. This is the one that instantly activates if she's on the same team with the A2. Triple hitter at random. Don't love at random normally. 
Each hit books to 100% chance of instantly activating a burn on each target. Wow. That's cool. So, like, if you're doing that against Spiderlings and there's burns out there, that's a triple instant activation of HP burns. That's massive, actually. It's massive. Heals this champion by 10% of their max HP for each burn activated. That's cool as well. And, you know, think about it. The Epic is just throwing you in there to do that. So he's doing it on a four turn, but she's also just making it happen with her A2 as well. That is brilliant synergy. I love it. Please be an AoE burn. And it is. Damn. This free legendary champion, if you get the referrals going, it's not easy. But you need to get three referrals to 50. Then another three to 40. You've then got yourself an AoE HP burn champion. Who's got cool synergy on her is A2. Damn, that's actually good. That is actually good. So attacks all enemies. 80% chance of placing a burn. Books to 100. And he gets a turn meter fill by 15% for each burn placed. So against Spider, he just has another turn. He goes straight into his A2. Even on normal waves of enemies, you're talking about, you know, 60% turn meter fill. He's not far from another turn straight away anyway. Three turn cooldown on the burn if you book it. Damn, that's, that's a massive champion right there. What's his passive then? Every 10 times active skills are used in battle by either enemy or allied champions. That's pretty, like, that will happen quickly. This champion instantly activates Berserker's skill again. And it's on five terms if he's your master's on the same team. Damn, that's a really good passive as well. He is throwing out this A2 like you wouldn't believe. Um, if the Marge is on the same team, revives this champion with 50% HP and turn meter when killed as well. Instant revive on a four turn. Accuracy in all battles. I feel like these are two really good champions. Like for, for referral based champions that you could get within two months of playing the game. A legend, you know, sorry, within two months if you're doing it yourself, not super actively playing. Pretty damn solid, guys. What do you think? What do you think of this? Obviously, getting referrals is not always easy. And they want people to come in as referrals because they want more players. Yeah, that's that's like, that makes some sense. But it feels to me like these are both really good champions. So I think you cannot pull these champions from any form of shards. I don't know if it tells us on the test server. Let's have a quick look. I don't think it does yet. Uh, oh, he, uh, is this the guy? Marja Cronum cannot be pulled from a from any shard. Yeah, cannot be pulled from any shard at all. So it's only going to be available through those login rewards. So, so those referral bonuses. But it feels to me like they are huge champions if you can get them, you know, relatively early. And even if you get them late, like they're usable. Like this dude is going to kick out tons of damage in hydra tons of damage as long as she's out there as well wow okay well that's it for for this video but damn it feels like they've made an effort with this kind of revamp of the referral program uh let me know what you think in the comment below please subscribe if you haven't already massively benefits my channel i try and keep content going out every day i've been hell hades i'll see you later